Shout out Nick the intern. His first mailbag. Uh, are we gonna? Is he gonna be in here? Is this about to be? Uh, kinda... If you, Nick, if you have an answer that you feel good about, you can step we'll on share up. Share the mic. So gotta, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's off the bench mailbag. You send us your questions. We ask them and answer them on air. T. Bob, how big of a player was the Cannon back in the day? Um, I think in the Cannon younger days, he. Uh, I've heard stories. Um, he did well for himself. So well for himself that he Great stories. knocked up the head cheerleader at Northwestern State at just 20 years old. And that's how my oldest sister was created. Oh, uh, so he got so out the mom. game. Your mom. Yep, yep, yep. He got out the uh, he got out the game a little early. He was uh, a little cocky. Got little cocky there. Quarterback head she uh, yep. head cheerleader. A romance. Hollywood. Oldest time. Hollywood. And now they're divorced and both happily remarried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had you guys. Yeah, it's awesome. I agree. <laughs> um, Still a player late in life. <laughs> Is it okay to wear? Who knows what happens post divorce? Is it okay to wear turtlenecks? I don't know. Like, Ooh. are we talking uh, anybody? I mean, women, absolutely. I think. Yeah. Um, men? James Bond can do it every now and then when he's like going down the slopes. But I don't think the right guy. Such an aggressive play with a <laughs> turtleneck. Gotta be the right. Guy. How I mean, do you pull it off without looking like smug? Oh. That's God. what I'm saying. Like, if you can find a guy, like if Brad Pitt put on a turtleneck, which I'm sure he is yeah, wants absolutely. to do. That's the thing. Well, Brad Pitt can do anything. Brad Pitt, yeah. you'd be smug at, in your turtleneck. You go look at Brad Pitt's hairstyles through the years. Brad Pitt, you can just, like, do his anything. facial structure. Do yeah, anything. you just you put whatever on there. Um, you got to be weary of turtleneck suit guy. Anytime. Suit? You need a guy that wears the turtleneck the straight suit. Straight Ron Burgundy. <laughs> I, mean, just I love it. No one should do that. So I think aggressive. I can go ahead and veto that. My apartment that. smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> I used to rock uh, out of laziness when we'd wear the suit for the game. I'd wear like the mock, like yellow, like <laughs> turtleneck thing just so you wouldn't have to do a tie. Saban made the mock turtleneck around here from 2000 to 2005. Like it, every, uh. every... Yeah, I had them one. I mean, like, all really? Yeah, you, like, when you say mock turtleneck, faster. do you mean, like, the half turtleneck or the yeah. one that's just a half the shirt? The half turtleneck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. Half. Well, but then there's, like, the Cousin Eddie, like, half turtleneck shirt that you can see through his, you know, like, his, uh, his I shirt. will say this. I think the skinnier you are, the better the turtleneck's going to look. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you can't be If you're a chubby guy or right. a big guy, it just I mean, is like, going to, gonna, like, push all that the, up Everybody there. get this visual for a moment. Gordy Rush in a turtleneck. He does wear turtlenecks, though, doesn't he? <laughs> does he not? Can he, he can't. Oh. Never I can not. imagine him in a turtleneck, though. I guess every shirt that he wears looks like a turtleneck. <laughs> Gordy's got that thick neck. Thick, thick neck. He's got a linebacker neck. Right. Just right. Around December, neck. let's all come in here with a turtleneck. We That'll see. be fun. I agree. I agree. We'll test it out. Like, that's yeah. the only way to know if we can we wear one. We spent a lot more time on that turtleneck question than it's I important. anticipated. Um, Madison Gilmore drove 10 hours with Moscona. Blah, blah, what blah, What is something blah, blah. you have done... Expressly to try to get into heaven. <laughs> That's a good way to wrap it up. That's a good way to wrap it up. Oh, I don't even know the answer to that question. Poor, that is poor. I mean, yeah. like poor. Any to be in a car with anyone for ten hours who you don't just like isn't your spouse or even sometimes them. Have you ever pretended to be asleep? Or yes. like, yes, okay, all right. Pretended That's what I would do. Asleep. That's what I would do if I was in this situation here. I don't know. 100%. I mean, you can even give like the fake snore. Some, uh, we're getting a little aggressive uh, now. Fake snore is not going to I heard um, you snoring through uh, no. Birmingham. Sometimes road trips like this, though, like bring you together, like yeah, bond absolutely. you. And you end up with this like weird friendship that you don't have outside of the car. Like yeah, once you one step wouldn't. out of the car, <laughs> you forget that y'all had bonded like that. And I hate that Moscone guy now. <laughs> Which head coach do you think is the best fried chicken cook in the SEC? Uh, think- Matt Luke. <laughs> you Man, know what? I mean, that's, a that's, great, a, that's a great play. It's a really great answer off the top here as I'm like shuffling <laughs> through SEC coaches. I think Coach O is definitely in the mix just because like I feel like everyone in Louisiana can just Yeah, cook. but for his stick it's not Cajun enough, right? Yeah. Fried chicken's a little too a little too general southern. We need but I feel like, like some people, jambalaya. But everyone in Louisiana, I mean it would, that would be simple for them just yes. to like fry up some chicken. I agree. I agree with that. But I, I mean I don't I don't yeah, I don't know if we're gonna find better than Matt Luke. Kirby Smart Looks like a frat boy that like probably trained so himself to like be really <laughs> yeah. good at but, fried chicken. No, so the frat guys don't can cook their own fried over. chicken. Can't give they you my recipe. Pay someone no, no. to cook them. Chicken. Generally though, there's one in the crew. Like I got, I got, I got one in the crew. He's the biggest frat. He was like social chair and everything. But because he likes to entertain, okay. he's made himself into like a great cook as all well. All right, all right. Um, what? Here's another. Um, here's another wardrobe question. What are your thoughts on men wearing fleece vests at work or just casually around town? <laughs> Supposedly, fleece vest season is coming up, even though it's still 90 outside. Another a very a very aggressive play here because when you look around, it's less the, aggressive. The half the half fleece is everywhere. 
Yeah. Because it, everybody it wants everywhere. to feel like a CEO. If you're a tech CEO, you love a good like Patagonia sleeveless fleece. I think it's deal. okay when worn appropriately. Like when it is cold outside, if you just want to add a layer, cool. When it is 90 outside, maybe lay off the fleece vest. Would you advise the short sleeve under the vest? I don't want See, to. to I don't want to say no because so I know a lot of guys who are probably well, listening yeah, that are my like friends that, yeah. I who do that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fine. I would definitely judge you for so sure. So, boys, if you're but, listening, that's I mean, a that's a strong no from Rivers. <laughs> it's a little contradictory. We talked about this earlier today, like a like a hoodie without sleeves. Yeah, oh, which I own exactly. those. I own some exactly. of those. Do y'all think targeting rules and less practices have made tackling worse? Uh, I don't. You definitely think more about tackling going in. I would imagine that you're you, you've got to be in your own head out there when you're trying to perform a tackle because there's so many rules against tackling. Probably more for the NFL than in college. Uh, but yeah. yes, I do believe that there is something off the field that translates onto the field about the rules of tackling that may be going into the missed number of tackles. The only thing that I would say, I think this might be more of a just, to me the main culprit here is just that coaches, rightfully so, are shying away from contact more and more in practice, which I, I agree with that. I think that is the right call from an injury standpoint, from a player safety standpoint. But it's it's hard to do things on game day when you don't get to yeah. practice them during the week. So I think targeting is an element. I think that's the way less of the two contributing factors, though, that we asked about here. I think it's mainly just due to changes in practice theory, if you will. In your opinion, does the winning QB of LSU versus Bama win the Heisman Trophy? Yes, in my opinion. Well, the only problem there is Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I was going to say. And Jalen Hurts' his numbers are unreal right now, and his storyline is unreal as well. I think Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley is going to hurt Jalen Hurts in, in the Heisman race because there's other contenders that make sense. I don't think they want to go back to the third year in a row, the quarterback from the same school, from the same head coach, when you have guys out there like Tua and Burrow that are NFL quarterbacks playing at this level. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, m maybe so. Um, also, Oklahoma has to get by Texas. Uh, that, that game will have Very a lot true. on the line there. Very true. All right, last question. In what order would you put these head coaches starting with best first? Herman, Jimbo, Coach O, Kirby Smart. Uh, Coach O first, best. Um, then Kirby. Mm -hmm. Then Herman. Mm-hmm. The Jimbo. Oh, poor Same little, order. poor little Jimbo. Same, and you know why? You know why I got Jimbo last year is the way that he left Florida State. I mean, look at what because Florida he doesn't shave his face all the way ever. Uh, I mean, like, well, look, it doesn't I mean, look the same. It doesn't Maybe, look the but what same. If he, yeah, what, what if happened? he's like Jordy, where Jordy shaves in the morning, but he shows up here and then it's like already back. His looks just so disheveled. It yeah. looks like it needs just to be like trimmed. Up. A couple of days. I've yeah. looked at Jordy closely before a segment started. And then after his segment started and watch the actual growth real time during the segment. Yeah, I actually shaved this morning. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I will say this for Jimbo, man. People are making a lot of... Um, T, Florida State is a dumpster fire. Oh, no, Florida State's a dumpster fire. For, and, and yes, he's got a, yes. lot, a, lot of, a lot of that falls at his feet. No doubt. No, I'm talking about at this year's Texas A&M team. People are just making a lot of sweeping conclusions about they're dead, they're not that good. They've... Like two good losses. Like Auburn looks like a legit top ten team. Uh, obviously, Clemson is Clemson. So let's just maybe pump the brakes on declaring this year's A and M team dead. Just, just yet.